It is Saturday, November 6th, and the run is on here in Wisconsin. We've already had a little bit of action this morning. Uh, I had a doe pop out at about 100 yards, and she was just kind of walking through, crossed over a little bit of a clearing, tucked back into some cover, and two minutes later she pops out, and there's a spike buck chasing her, so the little ones are already going this morning, and hopefully the... Uh, Hopefully the bigger ones will get up on their feet as well here in a little bit, but I sat last night with my girlfriend Gabby and we saw a pretty nice buck. It had to be 130s, maybe pushing 140. Um, pretty sure a nine pointer. Um, just a really big, solid buck. Super thick neck. I mean, he was in full rut. And he was just, he got confused. He started to focus on another deer that was out in the field and that deer turned out to be a nut buck, but he had to go and check it out just in case it was a, a doe. So uh, he wasn't really too focused on us and that kind of cost us a little bit, but uh, it's safe to say that things are pretty hot here in Wisconsin right now. The rut is in full swing, so. It's gonna be a good weekend, anything can happen. There's a lot of people out, so hopefully we can put one on the ground. Well, it was an interesting morning. Uh, my brother, Ben, had a run in with a smaller buck. Must have been like a younger year and a half. And my mom was sitting with him, and so she got some good footage of it. Came right in, he had him at about 15 yards. Probably could have taken a good shot, but just wanted to hold out for a bigger one. Um, I think Jake and his dad, Terry, saw some smaller bugs uh, this morning. And now it's pretty hot out this afternoon. It's like in the mid 60s. I'm way overdressed. So we'll see how much of a factor that is tonight. I'm hoping that the rut activity will kind of take precedent over the hot weather here. But if the uh, the weather's a factor, we might be in trouble. As the sun sets on a dull night for me, Jake and Terry have a hunt they'll never forget. Go, 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 go. Let me zoom in on them. I can't tell if that's him or not. Brett. We didn't even go 100 yards and he's laying right over here dead. He's just spraying out blood like a red carpet. This is my dad's first buck with the bow and 17 years. I was two years old. 17 years he's been waiting. <sighs> All right, this is what we were working with and I don't even know where we hit him. I, we're about to go find out, so. All right, lead the way, lead the way. Yeah, I would bring it just in case. He's, he's stone cold, Dad. Oh my God. This is one of our hit listers. 
E.T. I mean, look at this. Just piles of it. Oh. All right, so it's uh, Saturday, November 6th, and uh, I've been hunting all week long. Um, I took off the whole week this past week, uh, hunted from Saturday to Saturday. Um, it's the first decent buck that I've seen all week uh, in the stand. Saw some while I was in and out on my way in and on my way out of the stand. Um, this is a buck we call E.T. We've had him around the farm um, all year long, pictures of him um, on several different cameras. And uh, he, he came in really quick tonight. I was sitting with Jake uh, on one of my gun stands. Um, and uh, he came through real quick. Um, I th we thought he was a little, a little bit wider, maybe a little bit bigger than what he is, but I'm happy extremely happy this is it's been 17 years since I shot a buck with the ball and I've been hunting I've been hunting now for uh, 36 years so uh, 17 years since I shot one with the bow uh, so I'm really happy and Jake got to, uh, got to enjoy it with me so um, great day okay guys so um, my dad's over by the truck right now but I just wanted to I just really wanted to give him a shout out because he's the one that got me into hunting and um it was just kind of a surreal moment to experience that with him, filming him behind the camera, because he's the one who taught me everything I know. And um, just to see him shoot a deer for the first time, a buck, and for it being 17 years since he shot one, we got on film is just something I'll, I'll never forget this moment. And um, I'm just extremely excited and proud and thankful that he got me into hunting, and this is something I, I love doing. So I really can't thank him enough and just can't be any happier for him. So. Um, just want to quick give him a little shout out for that. I can't even tell you how happy I am for him. 17 years, he hunts every week, or every year, takes off a whole week, him and his brothers come up. They hunt every single day, uh, morning, night, and it finally paid off. I mean, we've had this deer all over the place, and sooner or later he was gonna get shot, and I'm just glad him, uh, my dad is the one to do it, or even if my uncle did, it was either way, one of them needed to kill this deer. and. Um, I'm super happy and proud of him. 17 years, patience pays off. Just to go, it goes to show you. 17 years and uh, past, he's passed multiple, multiple bucks that are a lot of people would shoot. So I'm extremely proud of him. Uh, sorry, the video wasn't all that. He came in within 20 seconds. So uh, hope you guys just enjoy it as, as much as I am, because I know I'm stoked for him. So uh, just like, share, subscribe, show everybody. We really appreciate it. Um, I know there's still some time left that Noah's going to get out, so hopefully he'll be able to put one down on the ground and uh, get some more videos out for you guys. So thanks for watching. We appreciate it.